What's up, Collective? Y'all make sure to check out all the uploads that I've been doing down here from the beach. And go ahead and hit them thumbs up for me. I'm about to get into another quick one for you. The sun is going down. And um, I try to give you beautiful scenery as much as possible. You like that scenery? Put it in the comments if you like that background, if you like that scenery. Because it's not important to see me, is it? No, it's not. It's important to hear the message. Okay, so. What is the overall energy? This is a reading for you, Collective, to see. What is the overall energy around you? Now, this could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be a co-worker. This could be your spouse. This could be your ex, ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-baby mama, baby daddy. Um, someone you that could be coming towards you. This could be someone who you recently broke up with, um, recently detached from. Could be coming towards you. Okay. Somebody or something around you. Don't want something to come to an end. Okay. The two cards that came out is the coffin and the sun. So the coffin represents death. It could have been an ending between you and somebody. And since you ended it with this person, um, you're feeling the happiest that you can feel. Okay. But this coffin came in reverse. So for some of you out there, this could mean that somebody you didn't want, you didn't want something to end, and it didn't, and it made you happy. Something didn't come to an end that's made has made somebody happy. Okay. And this could be somebody you're dealing with. It could have been a job. Somebody could be happy that they didn't lose their job. Um they didn't lose some money, something they're happy that, that didn't come to an end. So clarify this coffin. Some, somebody is happy that somebody is not pissed off with them and that they didn't break up with them. Yeah, somebody is happy that something ain't over. Tears have dried up for someone. Somebody is happy because somebody didn't get kicked out of the house. Somebody did something that uh, you probably would have normally would have been in a fit of rage, kick this person out, but you didn't. And this person is happy. They're not crying no more. It's something then that you didn't bring a tower to them. <laughs> okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Somebody, somebody out there, you could be, uh, you may have not, you could be dealing with somebody incarcerated and you may not have heard from them. You may have been crying over this person. We have a living room out here. Something could have happened in the living room. Something to do with the living room in a house. Somebody could have could have kicked somebody out, or somebody could have almost thought they was about to be kicked out because something they was doing in the living room. lady so somebody was crying they didn't, they're not crying no more they were supposed to get kicked out or something should have had came to an end somebody was pissed off in a fit of rage but they wasn't or you thought they would have been would have reacted like this this person didn't cut somebody off or this could be somebody you know in your energy that is you know they're very happy that 
you didn't cut their ass off. They was praying that you didn't cut them off. They was praying that you wasn't in a fit of rage and that you wouldn't kick them out. Okay. This person is saying you're a good lady for, for not kicking them out. Yep. Because somebody did something that, you know, they it 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 was it was no returns, but somebody accepted this person back and they ain't mad at them. This person is grateful for that. This could be a couple. Somebody could have been living with the couple. And you're happy that this couple didn't kick you out. Something to do with some sort of secrets. With this couple house. It could have, if, if you weren't um, kicked out of the house or to that effect, it could mean that you started a, a somebody started a lot of shit in somebody's house a lot of confusion a lot of fights in somebody's house and this person is grateful that you didn't kick them out collective if this was your house somebody is is grateful whatever they did you should have been in a fit of rage so this must be a divine energy out here something somebody did and you didn't like you didn't cut them out your life you didn't end it with them and this this makes this person happy Just resonating with you, then hit that thumbs up button for me. So why is the coffin in reverse? Soulmate partner. Some of you didn't flip out on this person because you feel like they were so with them because you feel you're their soulmate. They must feel the same way too because they happier than a motherfucker that you didn't cut their ass off. They happy that you didn't kick their ass out. Now this is not for everybody. This is for the ones of you that whoever this person is, you took them back. Um, you didn't end it with them. For those of you, you ended it with your person and, and you ain't, ain't no coming back. This is not your read. So ain't no sense of being in the comments. No, this not my reading because I've been kicked that motherfucker to the curb. Okay. If you're saying that you you been did this when when you go in the, the readers, you know, comments and you saying what you ain't did, what the fuck you doing in Tarot for? That's what, you know, this why I bought my own cards. I stopped commenting, you know, in the in the other readers, you know, comments, telling them how I feel. Shit. They don't give a fuck. I do, but they didn't. That's what made me pick up my own card. And I tell the truth to y'all. Rather it hurts you or makes you happy. Because I'm your auntie that you ain't never had. I'm that one that's going to tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. I speak to you all just like I speak to my family. I tell them the truth even if they get mad at me. The truth hurts. Okay? There's somebody out here your person is extremely happy because you didn't end the situation with them. You didn't cut them off. It's not, you know, something that they can, it's, it's something they can come back from. Whatever they did, they know they fucked up. That's why they, they, they happy. Okay? This could be somebody who, if you didn't kick them out, they could have started a lot of shit in your house. Between you and your family. But you accepted them back because you know this is your soulmate. Okay, so tell me more, spirit. And y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Okay. Yeah, this is this is somebody. They could be a Pisces, or uh, they could be a Scorpio, or they could be a Leo, or you could be one of those signs. But this is someone you know you you've been you know in and out with this person back and forth with them. This is a a recurring cycle for you and them. This person gets extremely happy when you message them. <laughs> that was the results that you you hadn't cut them off. They they messaged you, messaged you, or called you, or sent you know some sort of form of communication towards you, 
and you, you know, you message, message them back. Where they know you should have been pissed off in a, in a fit of rage with, with them. But you did. But you're not. Soulmate again. Harmony, content, purity, and good luck. You may feel like this person is immature. This could be why you took them back. They could be like a little kid to you. And um, you may, you know be like the nurturing type towards them or they may feel like you're the nurturing mother type you show love and compassion for this person or they never received it and if you had to cut them off at whatever it was that they did that's that's them losing a lot of energy from you they know that too thank you spirit Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius energy. And what I need for you to do, if you're gonna, if you're gonna accept this person back, you need to get out in nature, go to the park, um, go sit out on your front porch and, and look at the birds. And I don't care if people think you crazy by watching the birds, if you're looking at them smiling and all that shit. You're getting messages from them birds. Because you tell you when you tell your 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 business to to you know, um, your friends and family, all they do is talk shit, okay, they talk shit, talk about you, and all of that, so spare yourself the misery, and just look at the birds, if you see one bird out there, that one bird can represent you, if you see two birds out there, then birds can represent you and the person you're thinking about, okay, if you see three birds out there, those birds, those three birds can represent you, your person, in a third party situation. Okay. If you see one person with the, and a, uh, I mean, one bird and a bunch of birds, and one bird sitting off by itself, that could be you with a bunch of people. Okay. Those bunch of people, those, that, that, those bunch of birds can represent a group of people. Now, if you're that one bird and the group of other birds is over there, if you, if that one bird get up and fly away, what did those other birds do? Did they follow that bird or did they sit there? Was that bird a follower? Is that bird someone who they, um, you know, won't follow? Um, are them birds, are, are they like, are they, uh, what you call, they threw me off when they came in front of my city. But um, are they are they worth following, listening to? Pay attention. They threw me off. That damn truck did. But yeah, pay attention to the birds. Is it one bird, two birds, three birds? Is it a uh, a group of birds and one bird? Are they following that bird? Are them birds? Those birds can be flying. Those birds can be landed. Um, they can be um, working together. They can be working apart. They can be fighting. So you you take it. When you see the birds, pay attention to them. And that'll keep you from... That'll keep nosy-ass motherfuckers up out of your business. Okay? Now, y'all remember that. Birds bring messages. Okay? Now, let me get back to more of this reading. See, this person looks at you as their main person. That's why they so happy. You their main person. That's why they happy you didn't cut them off. They look at you as a soulmate. They see, they see complete contentment and harmony with you. For some of you, this person could have been incarcerated and got out recently. This is somebody you've been going back and forth with. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. Some of you, you may have, you know, look at this person as family. You've been with them so long. Um, or this could represent for somebody, could be getting karma. You could have gave this person karma. 
I see also the energy of your ancestors trying to get your attention. This is again while I'm saying, pay attention to the birds. Them birds, them ancestors, sometimes you can be like, this is how I, I pay attention to spirit. And it's weird to other people, but to me, I, I it's just something real cool, you know, when you're waking. Like when I'm driving and how I pay, to, pay attention to the energies as I'm driving. If I see a bunch of white cars and they're all surrounding me, a white car in the front of me, a white car on the right of me, a white car on the left of me, and I look in my rear view mirror, it's white cars all behind me. That telling me that that's good spirits, good energy around me, okay? When I see a bunch of dark cars, black cars, black cars all surrounding me, I hurry up and I turn off that street, okay? That's, that's just how I do, okay? You may have your own little way of communication with spirit this is what i do okay so um i'm gonna stop this reading right here and if i helped you in any sort of way don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button and you can call me auntie all right peace out